The project skeleton gives away its size, but you can't see the full magnitude from up here. What are we going to see at the bottom? So at the bottom, you're going to get into what is the starter piece of the tunnel itself. The Mill Creek Tunnel. You start to see where they're going to pour in concrete. A 20 year, $300 million project. And folks don't even know what's happening underneath them. Dallas is building for a rainy day. If we do our job the right way, you won't know we're here. This tunnel will be full of water. You really have to come down into this tunnel to understand just how humongous a project this is. The tunnel stretches five miles from underneath Woodall Rogers Freeway, winding south past Fair Park. It's more than 30 feet tall. When the tunnel is in place, then it'll be able to take all of those rainwaters that are above the tunnel that are coming down to mm -hmm. the southern sector of the city. You see those alarms at Pavo too? Sensors in the city's stormwater operations center track flood water. Once the tunnel's operational, the city says it'll better protect neighborhoods like downtown, east, and south Dallas. You'll start to see improvements in these areas. Absolutely. So people will have fewer interactions with floodwaters as we move forward. But it's not done. On Saturday, as part of the city's bond, voters will decide whether to approve $20 million to design the next phase. It's critical. You don't see it. Protecting neighborhoods north of the tunnel. It's going to protect thousands of properties. It makes you very humble to be part of such a large project that, that will provide the drainage relief and the flooding relief to, to so many citizens. In Dallas, I'm Cole Sullivan.